Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing very well. Let's talk tools. What's up everyone? Today we're diving into something that sounds super nerdy but is actually a lifesaver. I'm talking about automation. Picture this. You're trying to run your business, your side hustle, just your life, and you feel like you're juggling a million tiny annoying tasks. It's like trying to text, drink chai, pet your dog. It's a mess, right? You're dropping your phone in your tea. Your dog is judging you. This is where automation tools swoop in like a superhero in a cape, ready to save your sanity. They are the secret sauce that lets you get more done without actually doing more. Think of these tools as your personal digital assistant, but one that never needs a coffee break or asks for a day off. They connect all the different apps and software you use every single day and make them talk to each other. It's like setting up a chain of dominoes, but instead of just looking cool when they fall, they actually do your work for you. You get to focus on the big picture stuff, the creative ideas, because time is your most valuable currency, my friend. You can always make more money, but you can't make more time. Every minute you spend manually copying an email address from a form into a spreadsheet is a minute you could have spent brainstorming your next viral video, designing a new product, or just chilling with some samosas. Automation gives you that time back. It's not about being lazy, it's about being smart. In this epic showdown, we're going to look at two of the biggest names in the automation game, Zapier and Make. It's like the ultimate battle of the bots. We're going to break down what they do, how much they cost, and who they're for. By the end of this, you'll know exactly which tool is the right one to add to your team. We'll look at their strengths, their weaknesses, and how they stack up against each other in the real world. So grab your notebook, get comfy, and let's figure out how to put your digital life on autopilot. Let's get it. First up in the ring, we have Zapier. If the world of automation was a high school, Zapier would be the popular kid. The one everyone knows, the one that's been around the longest, the one that seems to be friends with everybody, Zapier is incredibly user-friendly and straightforward, accessible to people who don't know how to code or find tech intimidating. It uses simple if-this-then-that logic. Trigger example, new email in Gmail. Action example, add a row to Google Sheet. Boom, you're done. Zapier calls automations zaps, Quick, easy, powerful. Gets you up and running in minutes. Clean, bright interface guiding every step. You don't need to be a tech genius. King of the castle. Massive app integrations. Thousands upon thousands of apps. Like a friend who knows everyone. That library of connections equals sign major selling point. Now, the challenger, Make. Formerly Integromat. The cool, artistic newcomer. Make is more visual. Drag and drop canvas. Build automations, scenarios. See data flow between apps, lines connecting modules. Looks like a flow chart or mind map. More hands-on. More powerful and flexible for multi-step automations. More generous on lower tiers compared to Zapier. Add routers to send data down different paths. Add iterators to process multiple items at once. Like a box of Legos you can build anything with. Zapier sometimes feels like a pre-packaged Lego set, favored by tech-savvy users and businesses needing control. So, what exactly can Zapier do? Let's unpack its feature set. Zapier's number one superpower is its simplicity. The user interface is designed for absolute beginners. You don't need to understand APIs, webhooks, or any of that tech jargon. The step-by-step -step editor holds your hand through the entire process. Another key feature is something Zapier calls paths. This lets you add conditional logic to zaps. It's like a fork in the road. For example, if a new email contains the word urgent, then send a text message. Otherwise, add it to my to-do list. Zapier also has a built-in library of formatting tools called Formatter by Zapier. This is like a Swiss army knife for your data. You can change text, like making everything uppercase, lowercase. You can format dates, perform math calculations, pick a value from a list. Now, let's switch gears and see what kind of magic Make is cooking up. Make's standout feature is its visual editor. On this canvas, each app is a module, and you connect them to show the flow of data. This visual view makes it easy to understand complex multi-step scenarios. You can see exactly where your data is going, how it's being transformed, and where it ends up. One of Make's most powerful tools is its router. A router splits your scenario into multiple branches. It's more advanced than Zapier's paths. A router can send the same piece of data down several paths at once. Make also has advanced tools for data handling, iterators and aggregators. Finally, Make gives you deep control over error handling. When you're picking an automation tool, one of the most important questions is, does it connect to the apps I actually use? On one side, you have Zapier, the undisputed champion of quantity. With over 6,000 app integrations, Zapier's library is colossal. This includes everything from mainstream giants like Google, Microsoft, Salesforce to Niche, 
industry-specific tools. Make's library of integrations is smaller than Zapier's, currently sitting at around 1,500 plus apps. However, Make has a secret weapon that levels the playing field, depth. While Zapier has more integrations, Make's integrations are often more powerful and flexible. Furthermore, Make has a powerful HTTP module that allows you to connect to virtually any app with an API. Let's put everything on the table in a simple side-by-side -side comparison. Zapier's biggest strength? Sheer simplicity and ease of use. Anyone can use it. However, this comes with some drawbacks. The primary one is the cost. Make's greatest strength is flexibility and power via a unique visual editor. Another huge plus is its pricing. Make is significantly more affordable. So after all this talk, which tool is right for you? It really depends on who you are and what you need. Let's start with beginners, freelancers, solopreneurs who are just dipping their toes into the world of automation. For this group, Zapier is often the perfect match. Its simplicity is its greatest asset. You can sign up and have your first Zap running in less than 10 minutes without watching a single tutorial. Now, let's talk about power users, the tech-savvy folks, and the businesses with complex operational needs. This is where Make truly shines. If you look at Zapier's linear builder and think, but I need it to do five things at once. The visual canvas allows you to build sophisticated workflows that mirror real-world business processes. If you're on a tight budget but have big automation dreams, Make is your champion. So, after this epic battle, who wears the crown in 2024? The truth is, there's no single winner, but the real winner is the tool that's right for you. It's not about which one is objectively better. The choice comes down to a simple trade-off, ease of use versus power and price. If you are new to automation, if you value simplicity above all else, if your workflows are relatively straightforward, start with Zapier. However, if you're on a budget, if you have complex, multi-step processes to automate, if you're a visual thinker, you should absolutely give Make a try. My best advice? Try both. Both Zapier and Make offer generous free plans. Set aside an afternoon, pick a simple task you want to automate, build it in both platforms. See which interface clicks with you. See which one feels more intuitive. At the end of the day, the best automation tool is the one you'll actually use. So go ahead, play around, and get ready to reclaim your time. You got this. Peace out.